Your news in South Bend, Indiana. Jurors are now learning more about the horrific force of the Richmond Hills explosion. Top executives from Citizens Energy are testifying to the force of the blast. It was the equivalent of several tons of dynamite. Eyewitness News reporter Rich Van Wyk is in South Bend. So, Rich, what else did you hear in court today? Scott, early on, we heard testimony of survivors, res residents of Richmond Hill. They were military veterans. They described the explosion as being similar to a one-ton bomb. From what we heard today, their estimates were underestimated. Today, jurors got a lengthy lesson in the operation, the mechanics, and the readings of gas meters. Citizens Energy Vice President Christopher Braun spent most of the morning on the witness stand. He was at the Richmond Hill explosion site the day afterwards. He told jurors he was helpful in finding the utility meter blown from Montserrat Shirley's home. He said the readings on that meter were frozen at the time of the explosion. Braun described statistical analysis and comparisons of gas consumption to other homes. Shirley's home, he says, used substantially more natural gas, more than twice as much than any other neighbor in the two weeks leading up to the explosion. Braun did some additional calculations, looking at some seven and a half years of gas usage at the Shirley home. He said in the two weeks prior to the explosion, from the last meter reading to the day of the explosion, usage was much higher than typical. He calculated the power of that excess usage. He said the house exploded with a force equal to at least two and a half tons of dynamite and perhaps as much as four tons of dynamite. Mark Leonard is on trial for murder and arson. Investigators say he led the plot to set the gas leak in the home and ignite it using a timed microwave oven. Later on today, we expect to hear from more investigators working on the site. And then John Shirley, the ex-wife of Monserrati Shirley, he's expected to testify before the end of this day. We'll be on this story all day. Reporting live from South Bend, Rich Van Wyk, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. And you can follow the trial of Mark Leonard right now on WTHR.com. You can read all the stories of our coverage, see the insurance claims made by residents of Richmond Hill, and you can read court documents detailing the allegations against the suspects. Just be sure to look under the Richmond Hill section, which is at the top of our homepage.